Hi, this is Pavel with a C++ exercise. Uh, we are writing a program that determines which of the company's four divisions, North, East, South, East, Northwest or Southwest, had the greatest sales for the quarter. We are supposed to include uh, two functions, one that will return a double, uh, get sales. We are passing uh, the name of the division into this function. And in within that function, we are asking the user to enter the sales. We will validate the input. Basically, the validation simply means that the user cannot enter value less than zero or negative value. And then we will return that value, the value of sales. And we call in this uh, get sales function four times, once for each division. The second function is a void. It doesn't return anything. And it's simply we will pass the four sales into it as arguments, and the, de the function will, de will determine which one of those uh, uh, was the highest sale. So we know that we need two functions, so I'll do two prototypes. The first one will return double, it will be called get sales, and we are passing the name of the division, which is a string. The other one is a void. It doesn't return anything, and we will call it. Uh, we will call it. They want us to find highest, find highest, and it accepts actually four values, and these are all doubles. These are the sales for each division. That. All right. So we have our prototypes. Uh, I can do now. To actually create those functions so double get sales and it will accept uh, accept this I'm sorry this is a double get sales except a string of uh, I'll call it a name the, the name of the uh, division and the second one is uh, void find highest and we get the uh, double for, uh, I'll call it, and uh, northeast sales, uh, nor what was it, east, and then northwest sales, and the southwest sales, and they, these are all uh, double. It's a double, and the last one is double as well. Okay, so now we have our functions, so we can go to our main and uh, uh, supply the arguments for these functions. Now we have four uh, divisions, so the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to actually loop uh, four times, equals uh, zero, i is less than four, and i plus plus. Now, f and within this function, I mean, in this loop, I will determine. I will, I will call this uh, get sales function with with the name of each division. Now, in order for me to determine which division name I'm passing, I will simply assume that the first one is uh, not assume. I mean, they they supplying us north east south east northwest and southwest. So I will do a switch statement switch, and I will be checking i which will be changing with each iteration, of course. And if the i is 0, then uh, I know that it's the uh, east uh, division. So I can say, I can say get sales and pass northeast to it. And break. However, remember this get sales is returning a double of the sales of, of that division. It will it will run four times, and each time it will return an, uh, the, uh, sales for each of the divisions. So I'm going to declare a few variables up here. Uh, it will be a double northeast sales. Uh, Southeast sales, northwest 
sales and southwest sales. So if in this case, in case zero, that's northeast sales. So northeast sales will equal whatever the get sales returns. All right, so when we do the same for uh, case one, but it's going to be our SE sales, it's our next ones, will equal the get sales and we will pass uh, SE to it as the southeast. Case two, that's going to be, oh, I needed a break there. So case two will be our northwest sales equals get sales and we will pass northwest to it name of the will break and uh, default that's basically else in the that's going to be our southwest sales equals um, get sales and we will pass the southwest string to it. Okay, so uh, again, with each iteration, I change it. We start with zero, so we put northeast to our function as a name, and it will return the sales for that division, for northeast division, and we will store that in our northeast sale. Now, how do we, are we gonna do, go about it? Is uh, I will do a double sales. I'll initialize it to zero and uh, I will ask the user to enter the sales please enter the sales for division and which division it is it is the name whatever we passed in our name that's the division and over here I will I will simply append a dollar sign and the user will enter the amount so we will store that amount in our sales now we have to verify to make sure validate it uh, to make sure that it's not less than zero that it's not a negative so while sales less than zero if it is less than zero or as long as it is less than zero we will be outputting a message saying that uh, please or please enter sales uh, or sales all right never mind sorry about it sales cannot be a negative number please re-enter and use will re-enter and we will again if that comes to it then we will store it again in our sales and we will be looping as many times as the sales is not greater than zero if it once it is greater than zero then we will return it return sales and this will now be passed to our ne sales se sales and w sales and sw sales once we have all the numbers we can call the find highest function find highest we are not uh, passing uh, i mean we are not uh, returning anything so it's a void uh, but we, we are passing uh, the northeast sales we are passing the southeast sales the northwest sales and finally our sw sales those are the doubles here now how do we determine which ones are the highest uh, I'll declare a variable double called highest and initialize it to zero. Uh, uh, I'll declare a variable called uh, uh, I'm sorry. I need uh, I need to determine which one is the highest and which division it is. So uh, it's going to be a string division and initialize to empty. And now. To find out which one of these four is the highest, it's a basically such of if and else if statement. So if N E sales is greater than S E sales and uh, 
and E sales is greater than uh, North W, yeah, Northwest sales. And finally, if it's greater than the SW sales, in other words, if this one is greater than all the other three, then this is the highest one. So our highest will equal NE sales. And the division with highest sales will be north east. And now I'm going to copy paste it. But it's going to be else if, else if, and uh, we also have else, which will be the by basically the fault which if none of these first three are true. So we got the N, uh, the northeast. Now let's change it. To if the southeast is greater than northeast and our southeast is greater than northwest and our southeast is uh, greater than uh, SW sales in other so southwest sales and I forgot the greater sign over there too if uh, this would make our southeast sales the uh, greatest and this would be our uh, south east division over here we'll do the third one which would be northwest if our northwest cell is greater than our northeast and our northwest sales is greater than our southeast and finally if our northwest sales are greater than southwest sales then this will be uh, northwest and it's gonna be north west division string otherwise if neither of this is true then our highest is by default obviously uh, SW sales is our southwest division so division equals uh, south west okay and at the end we can simply display C out the division with the highest sales is which one well whatever is being held in the division variable division with i'm sorry with sales or with uh, total sales of and dollar sign and we will append the uh, sales which is the highest all right so uh, again we are passing the sales of each four divisions we are comparing them with each other and determining which one is the highest and which division name it is uh, with the highest division uh, with the highest sales and over here we'll simply output the division name and the total for that division so let's run it see if uh, if it compiles it's taking a little longer than expected it's not a big program i don't know why it's taking so long oh here we go we have our first one please enter the sales for division uh northeast so let's uh here and uh over here you can see we are asking for case zero basically so i'll enter something simple 100. now we go to case one se i'll enter 200 north w uh, northwest is uh, let's say 180 and finally southwest would be 150 so at the end the division with the highest sales is southeast which is this one obviously with the total sales of 200 dollars so that seems to be working now i'll run it again and use some uh, decimal numbers like uh let's say 1050 cents uh 1857.75 3005 point ninety nine and maybe three thousand point five point 
98 so very close but it should determine that this one is actually the higher northwest and it is the division with the highest sales is northwest with a total sales of three thousand and five and ninety nine cents all right so um to recap we got our doubles uh, i mean our prototypes over here we uh loop in four times once for each division and based on what the value of i we determine which division it is which is based in our switch statement and we will within our switch statement for each case we are calling the get sales uh, function and passing the name of the division so we come over here we accept the name of the division we will output the prompt please enter the sales for the division well, let's say an e and over here we'll are, uh, we enter the sales we make sure that the sales is uh, greater than zero i mean it's not a negative number as long as it is we will be prompting the user to re-enter it if it is okay if the number is correct uh, if it's greater than, uh, or equal to zero then we are returning sales and the number of sales is then stored in each of these variables at the end once we have all the numbers we simply call the find highest and those sales in it these are the arguments and then we simply compare each uh, of these uh, with each other basically and uh, based on that we determine which one is the highest and the name of the division with the highest sales and at the end we will output the division with the highest sales with the, the division name, with a total sales of and the highest which holds the total sales for that division Okay, I hope it helps you and I will see you next time. Take care.